Hello everybody and welcome to X-Plane 11. Today we're going to be flying from Riverside Airport to Whiteman Airport uh, via the San Diego, uh, correction, the Ontario Papa 1 tech route and the Riverside 2 departure. Uh, this is a uh, very short IFR cross country and uh, I'll actually be flying the same flight uh, tomorrow with my flight instructor and I am an ATP student. So just to keep in mind, this is a simulator. This is strictly for simulation purposes and reference and entertainment purposes only. I am not a instrument rated pilot, nor am I a instrument rated flight instructor. Once again, just for entertainment purposes and reference. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and jump back in the airplane. Okay, so uh, we've already got uh, the aircraft powered up and the engine is running, mixture's lean and uh, we were just about to get the ATIS, which is what we have here in uh, the 430. This p particular uh, Cessna 172 has a 530 and a 430. Uh, we're going to disregard the out-of-date messages because the nav data has been updated, um, but unfortunately um, these units don't reflect that. Uh, the message continues to uh, come up, but uh, they are updated and they have been verified. We have uh, ATIS and COM2, so we'll go ahead and listen for the ATIS. Riverside. Do, gust 1-8, visibility 1-0, sky condition clear, temperature 2-6, dew point 1-4, altimeter 2-9 or 8-9 or, arriving and departing runway 2-7, visual approaches in use, read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions, advise on initial contact that you have information, Oscar. Riverside Municipal Airport, ATIS Information Oscar, 0053 Zulu, wind 260 at 12, gust 18, visibility 10, sky condition clear, temperature 26, dew point 14, altimeter 29 or 89, arriving and departing runway 2. Okay, so we have information Oscar, 2 or 8 9 which, which we've already set into the altimeter, and we're within plus or minus 75 feet of uh, field elevation there. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and continue on with our checklist. So we've got the ATIS, and uh, we just need to get to our clearance. So we're going to go ahead and call up ground here, uh, since there is no clearance here. All right, good night, 45 Lindbergh Tower, runway 27, clear for takeoff. For Riverside. 27, clear for takeoff, Alaska 1945. And we do have uh, ground set uh, into uh, COM1. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll just call for a radio check first because uh, let's make sure uh, that uh, our microphone is working. And Riverside Ground. Uh, and I forgot my call sign. We are number 24352. Riverside Ground, number 24352, radio check. Number 24352, uh, Riverside Ground, which you loud and clear. Uh, thank you, sir. All right, so 24352. Let me just write it down here. Because for some reason, the placard in the airplane <laughs> says 172 Sierra Papa. So, um, okay. And we've already filed the flight plan, so we'll go ahead and call up uh, ground and get our clearance. And Riverside Ground, good evening, number 24352 uh, is at uh, the southeast uh, GA parking, uh, correction, southwest GA parking. We'd like to pick up our IFR to Whiteman, and we have information, Oscar. They don't understand ATP here and pilotage, so you have to tell them where you're at relative to the airport. Number two, four, uh, three, five, two, clearance time request, stand by one. All right, standing by, two, four, three, five, two. Alaska 1945, stand next to departure, have a nice day. All right. So, pilotage is nice because it's, um, it's an online ATC system that hooks up to your flight simulator, and uh, they can actually Jack, see you. Two, four, three, five, two, oh. clear to Whiteman Airport, Riverside, two, departure to Paradise. Then, as filed, maintain 4,000, expect 6,000, five minutes after departure. Departure frequency 135.4, squawk 7452. 
Okay, we're cleared to the Whiteman Airport Riverside 2 departure. Paradise, uh, Venice filed, maintain 4,000, expect 6,000 five minutes after. Departure frequencies 135.4, squawk 7452, number 24352. <laughs> All these fives and twos. 7352, Rebecca is correct. <laughs> 7452 here, let's go ahead and put that in the transponder. A lot of five twos. <laughs> I don't know if. Well, that's it's randomly generated on his end, but it's just look, it ends with five two, and my call sign ends with five two. That was kind of funny. All right, so initially we're going to maintain four thousand, and then we're going to expect six thousand five minutes after, and we will expect the Riverside two departure, and we'll brief all that uh, at the run-up area. Um, so we do have our clearance. The altimeter is set within plus or minus seventy-five feet. Um, well, the airspeed is indicating zero. Uh, Attitude indicator is uh, indicating correctly. Turn coordinator is in agreement. Uh, and then the magnetic compass is indicating about a 179er uh, uh, magnetic heading. So we'll go ahead and set the directional gyro to in agreement with the magnetic compass. Something like that. And zero on the vertical speed. And we'll check for uh, proper uh, alignment and uh, instrument uh, instrument uh, swings when we start taxing. You know what to say there. Okay, uh, so the after start checklist is complete. Um, let's go ahead and get the airport diagram out. And we do have Avatab here, which is nice. And we do have the overlay of our actual aircraft on uh, the no, airport, you know, on the, the seven, seven, four, Delta five, on our uh, approach plates Zulu, and on our airport ramp, diagrams. Um, pretty That's kind of nice. To okay. So we'll go ahead and put that down here. We're somewhere. I'll go ahead and get our uh, track IR going here. We're like somewhere over here on the uh, southwest side of the airport. All right, so it looks like the compass is swinging freely and the directional gyro is in agreement to known headings and uh, the Turn coordinator is also John indicating Lake, correctly. Palomar Airport, flighting one seven five, radar vectors to join vector twenty three. All right. Then, as filed, maintain All right, five thousand. This is echo over here. Departure frequency one two eight point one, squawk five six one four. Okay, that's clear to Palomar. Departure heading one seven five. Radar vectors to Victor twenty three. Brakes are very filed. touchy on this airplane. Altitude five thousand. Frequency one two eight point one. Squawk five six one four. Seven seven four Delta Foxtrot. Okay, so we'll do that. Didn't do the. T we'll go ahead and do the taxi checklist. Airport diagrams out. Tax clearance we're going to get, and we already got our lights on. Taxi air is clear. Brakes are checked, and then flight instruments are checked. And Riverside Ground, good evening, number 24352. Is that the uh, south parking, GA parking, ready for taxi? We have information, Oscar. It's kind of in the way here. Number 24352, uh, Riverside Ground, runway 27, taxi via Alpha Charlie. Runway 27, taxi via Alpha Charlie, number 24352. So we'll go ahead and take Echo to Alpha, and then we're Alpha Charlie, because this is not on movement area, and we're now in a movement area. So, um, somewhat accurate to the real airport, the 727 there, but that's a FedEx. <laughs> um, the real one is a CBU 727, I believe. Uh, okay, left is clear there. And uh, right is clear. Whoa, 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 whoa. Way too much rudder there. All right, enough playing around there. All right, intersection's clear. Oxnard Tower, good evening, Walker 169, ILS runway 25. 
Welcome 169, Oxnard Hotel, we're on way 25, clear to land. It's clear to land, on way 25, Parker 169. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and taxi to the run-up area here, do our run-up and set up our nav instruments. All right, all right, it's clear there. All right, it's kind of slopey here. I am not exactly sure why, so, whoa. <laughs> okay, all right, we got brakes are on here, and we got to throttle back to 1,000. All right, so we'll go ahead and continue on with our checklist here. Our taxi checklist is complete. Uh, run up, uh, we'll check the enunciator lights. All right, uh, there is no lights for the audio panel, so, but everything else looks like it was good there. Uh, and that mixture is going to go rich, full forward. And uh, we'll go ahead and go throttle 1800 RPM. The John Mike Graham, Bonanza 774, got the Fox Trap information. So you literally have to I can get it to 1800. Okay, okay, there we go. We'll check the left mag. We got about a 50 RPM drop, back to both. Right mag. About the same, back to both. Ammeter's looking good, engine instruments are looking good. Suction gauge is good, we're about uh, almost 5 inches of mercury there on the suction. Uh, and then we're going to check the idle. Make sure that engine don't quit. Everybody's talking at the same time. All right, idle's good, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, lean the mixture again. Remain on this frequency in the future, though the ground frequency to call the primary one is one tree. There we go. Point two five from the west. All right, pre takeoff brief. Engine failure abnormally. Immediately close throttle. Stop straight ahead. Avoid obstacles. If not enough runway remains to stop. The mixture's gonna go cut off. Fuel shut off valve. Off battery switch off. Ignition off, and we'll avoid the obstacles. Engine failure immediately after takeoff. We'll land on remaining runway if there is. Within 30 degrees left or right of center line, uh, avoid obstacles. We won't attempt 180 degree turn unless we're at least at traffic pattern altitude. So that's going to be at uh, 1,800 feet uh, if we do have an engine failure. Um, and regardless, uh, we'll make sure that we're pitching for best glide, flaps as necessary, power is available if there is any, which if there isn't, then of course we wouldn't use it. But time permitting, we'll declare the emergency fuel shutoff valve, pull out ignition off, mixture, idle cut off, battery and master off, get the doors open exit the aircraft uh, from behind it um, if we have to make an off runway landing. All right, uh, so the run up checklist is complete. Before takeoff, pre takeoff brief is complete. Uh, we will uh, check the flight controls. Left, right, and check up. Right, back down, and right rudder and left rudder. Flight controls are free and correct. Flight instruments will recheck. Airspeed zero, attitude indicators plus or minus five. The reason it's indicating about five up because we're on this slope here. And the uh, altimeters within plus or minus 75. Turn coordinator, uh, same situation, I believe. That's why we're kind of slanted there. Uh, let's see here. And then uh, we're indicating a 351-ish. And that's about what the directional gyro is indicating. There we go. And vertical speed zero. Autopilot we're not using. Uh, fuel selectors on both. And trim is set to take off. Now it is. Okay. Uh, flaps are gonna go. We're gonna do a normal takeoff today. Uh, GPS we're gonna go ahead and set up now. All right. So we'll come over here. Uh, we'll set up uh, the 5:30 with the flight plan. So initially, uh, we've got Riverside, we're going to go Procedures, select Departure, and our departure today is going to be the Riverside 2, the only departure out of Riverside Airport. Runway 27, and the transition is going to be uh, Paradise, as you can see, there it is depicted. Load it, um, you'll see, um, it'll tell us once we, oh, if we can get it up here. Now here's a Riverside 2 departure. 
Uh, taking off runway 27, winds are favoring that. Climb on heading 255, so we'll bug 255. Welcome 1, turn left here at Foxtrot and taxi to parking Oops, monitor. the wrong way there. Left turn, Foxtrot to parking monitor. There's Marker 255 one, initially. Intercept the Paradise 030 to the Paradise VOR. And then uh, at Paradise VOR, continue climb in holding pattern to cross par holding pattern to cross Paradise at or above 5,000 or higher MEA. In this case, it's going to be the... Um, we're going to be flying at 6,000, um, so we'll hold uh, until we reach uh, MEA, which MEA is 4,000 feet, actually, for Victor 186. And that's it. And once again, of course, Navigraph charts intended for flight simulation only, even though these are Jepson charts, but they have to put that in there for you. Okay, so initially 255, intercept the 030 uh, inbound, or 210 inbound to the VOR. And uh, if we have to hold, it's going to be a direct entry. And uh, we'll immediately, once passage of the station, uh, we'll f uh, turn outbound to a heading of 078. We'll bug that, fly outbound for a minute, then back inbound 258 uh, until we climb to the MEA or higher or whatever they give us. They might just tell us to, we might just be able to make it there, make it to 4,000 before even joining Victor 186. Okay. So and that yeah, looks two correct. Runway clearance clear to Burbank Airport. Fly heading two two zero radar vector and, to um, Seal Beach. Then as filed, maintain two thousand. Expect four thousand. We'll go ahead and put the changeover point Tiffany. Departure frequency one. T I F N I. So we're going to put six, Tiffany in here. Six, four, one. That's T I. Oops. Clearance, can you just uh, repeat that, please? Uh, number two for Quebec, sure. Cleared. Uh, first of all, how do you hear me? Everything okay? Five by five. Yeah. Understood. Number two for Quebec. Cleared to Burbank Airport. Fly heading oh, two I can't two spell. zero. T I F. Radar vectors to Seal Beach. Then as filed. Maintain two thousand. Expect four thousand. There it is. Tiffany. After enter. Departure frequency one two um, eight point one squawk six. Uh, six let's see here. Four one. And uh, we can put. Clear to Burbank, flight two two zero. Pyro in there. The radar vector to Seal Beach. Then as filed. Uh, since uh, our course is going to be the same. Two thousand. Expect five so minutes. P I R R O. Two eight point one. Squawk six six four one. Sky two four Quebec. Read back. Correct. P I John Wayne Tower, but Anza seven seven four Delta Fox shot holding short at runway two zero right at Kilo. There's Pyro, enter. It was seven seven four Delta Fox shot, John Wayne and, Tower, uh, two zero right at Kilo, clear for takeoff. <laughs> runway two zero right at Kilo Kilo, clear for takeoff. We can go ahead and put uh, darts and we'll put uh, Van Nuys in. So darts Delta Alpha Romeo Tango Sierra. So Delta Alpha Romeo. T Oops, come on. Tango. And oop. Sierra. Darts, there we go. Enter. And it's going to ask us, there's an Australia, there's an intersection in Australia, and we're U.S. Southwest, so that's what we need. And we'll accept that, and we'll verify that, and then we're going to put the Van Nuys VOR. So Victor November Yankee. And well, Yankee. Three, three November Alpha, turns to John Wayne with Tango. Enter. Enter, and we'll go ahead and put our destination uh, airport. One, in. I need you to connect to the network with the November in front of your call sign. Kilo. And uh, two, I don't have a flight plan for you. Probably Whiskey Hotel Papa. Probably with the November there and connect it to something else. So if you just want to disconnect, reconnect with November 383 November Alpha, we'll see if the flight plan links up for you. Okay, we will do. Why am I not Going finding ground, the H? There it is, Whiteman. Quebec, a transient parking request taxi. All right, and <laughs> procedure. Travel. We're going to go and select an arrival. Uh, or an approach, rather. Uh, we're going to ex ex accept the VOR Alpha, or we're going to ask for the VOR Alpha, and uh, transition will be Van Nuys. 
So from Van Nuys VOR, because all these other ones are from the west. Uh, so we'll, we'll hit enter. We'll load it. And, uh... 774 Delta Fox, you're connected to Delta Perch. Over to SoCal Departure. Yeah, you can't, uh, Fox, move the map here. But at any rate, um, we can zoom so out. SoCal Departure, everybody has a 774 Delta Fox. Uh, oh, there we are. 1,200 to 5,000. Um, Seven four Delta Fox, just look the perch at our contact. We can kind of see our Tiffany Pyro darts, kind of see yeah. it over here. Uh, uh, but we can always go to flight plan, and correct. we can verify all that. Um, and then the approach to VR Alpha, uh, we'll go here and we'll verify it. Um, we've got Van Nuys, uh, and then we'll do a procedure turn uh, to align us with the final approach course. Canog, which is the initial approach fix. <laughs> Uh, and then we've got, uh, from Canog, we've got the hold, because it's VOR, and then from the VOR we uh, depart Van Nuys VOR 046, and the circling minimums are going to be uh, 1760. The 383 November Alpha, I have it there now, you ready? And the hold, so we'll November go ahead and verify this, but we'll just make sure, Alpha. direct to Van Nuys VOR, hold at Canog, so we're going to hold at Canog, so we're gonna hold the same area. Heading two zero Oops. zero. Expect radar vectors to seal beach. Then direct. Maintain three thousand. Expect four thousand five minutes after departure. And we go. Seventeen sixty is our squawk one five zero five. MDA there. Green November up is clear to come. There it is. Airport. Okay. Maintain runway heading to eight hundred feet. Then turn left heading two zero zero. Radar vector seal beach. Climb maintain three thousand. Expect five thousand five minutes after departure. Departure control frequency will be one two eight point one. Yeah, All right, five. we're back to our uh, maps five, and moving back. Okay. Remember, just confirm the expect altitude five minutes after. And the that's it. Four thousand. Otherwise, uh, GPS are set up. Yes, um, if we wanted to, we can go ahead and put okay. uh, Paradise in VOR one, which we were, which which is what we're going to do. Uh, just so, just Monster for sanity. One twelve point two here, which we already got in, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get the inbound course of. Uh, Two five eight seven seven four Delta Fox. Jet turn left, heading one zero zero. Join Victor twenty three. Resume navigation. Which is one like zero right zero there. To join Victor, we might be able to. We might be able to identify it. Fox, right. All right, there's Paradise. Unfortunately, the uh, you can't get the volume up on the Morse for some reason. It's the highest, and I can't get it up. Well, it's just not modeled. I don't think. All right, we're good there. All right, uh, let's see, your GPS heading indicator, we've already set departure brief, we, we've uh, briefed it at above 5,000, at Paradise, uh, initially 255, and then the uh, 210 inbound 030 uh, radial of Paradise. Uh, and the mixture's going to go full forward, let's go ahead and do that, let's get ready. And then um, engine instruments will recheck. Alaska uh, 1945 LA Center, Roger. Uh, we've got oil temperatures already in the green oh, pressure still good and uh, and, uh, vacuums and amps are good right engine instruments seat backs are up uh, doors and windows departure. strobe lights are already on all of our lights are on and we're squawking 7452 so we're good there as well all right so okay, we'll go ahead and switch to the tower, tower right cliff, oops there you go 121.0 departure frequency is 1354 so we're going to put that in as well 24 go back clear for takeoff 20 right there we go. All right, so we're holding short of 2-7 at Charlie's. And we'll let them know that. Right. And Riverside Tower, uh, good evening, number 24352 is holding short of 2-7 at Charlie, ready for departure. There's nobody on Chester final. 24352, uh, Riverside Tower, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 27, uh, 24352, thanks. Fort Alpha Fox, okay. traffic at your 3 o'clock and 2 miles. Right's clear. Eastbound. Altitude we'll go ahead and start the clock. We'll note the takeoff VFR time. And, of course, um, it is VFR. Our we would need a safety pilot in reality, um, but this is a simulator. Um, do not attempt to, uh, to fly an IFR flight plan without a safety pilot in VFR conditions. Uh, but this is just a simulator, so. All right. We already started the clock here a little bit early, but that's okay. All right, right's clear, left's clear, lights, camera, action. Lewis ground, King of uh, Baron 383, November Alpha, base of the tower with Tango for taxi. 
All right, we'll hold uh, 2,000 RPM with the brakes, check the instruments, and then we'll go full power. Yeah, uh, tree, tree, November Alpha, Long Beach ground with two six left tanks. And, and the compass truck. in agreement two with two the DG. Three November Alpha. Engines, instruments are good. We'll go full power. All right, airspeed's alive. This airplane needs a lot of right rudder. All right. All right, there's 55. Rotate. Now about three, three o'clock at a mile. Same altitude. Altitude is five thousand five hundred. You have additional traffic at twelve o'clock and four miles. Southbound altitude indicates also five thousand five hundred. All via four types on the. Roger. Ten four o'clock track. Just two four Quebec. Contact SoCal to four driver nine seconds. All right, once we pass 1,000 okay, feet, we'll get the after takeoff. Thank you. Long Beach ground, uh, Baron 3, November Alpha, cancel uh, the taxi clearance, I'll call you back. Number 3, 8, 3, November Alpha, understood, are you okay? All right, so we're going to fly 255 initially. Yes, uh, remain, uh, cancel my taxi clearance, and I'll call you back. Number 3, 8, 3, November Alpha, Roger, cancel taxi instructions, just let me know when you need help. Roger. Airport off the far side traffic now is passing uh, behind you about 5,400 feet. Roger, Sunset, we're on the far side. Number 352, connect SoCal departure. Departure, uh, Sunset 352, thanks. So got departure, good evening. Cessna 24352 is climbing through 1,800 uh, for uh, 4,000. Riverside 2 departure. Cessna 24352, so now departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 5,000. Uh, correction, 6,000. Okay, climb and maintain 6,000, uh, Cessna 24352. All right, so we've been cleared to 6,000 feet. So now departure to Fort Quebec. And we've got GPS mode set in VOR1. 2,000, level up 2,000. Just as you Fort Quebec, so now departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 4,000. Radar contact, climb and maintain 4,000 to Fort Quebec. Just the 352, traffic 2 to 3 o'clock at a mile southbound, up to the 2,700, via Fort, back one low. Uh, negative contact, 24352. And I don't see that guy. And uh, we are the safety pilot and the, <laughs> and the, and the other pilot. <laughs> so, isn't it fun? All right, we're climbing through 3,000 here. Uh, we're still maintaining VY. Let's go ahead and start leaning. Lots of right rudder. I gotta scratch my foot. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Southbound 4 down Foxtrot. Cessna 24 Quebec, clear direct hopper and resume all navigation. Clear direct hopper, resume all navigation 24 Quebec. Thank you. Alright, so we're going to probably have to hold because we're not going to make it to 5,000 uh, by the time we get to Paradise. We're climbing pretty well there, about uh, 700 feet a minute. Okay. It's harmful. All right. Seven, 
All right, suction's still good. Engine instruments look good still. All right, we're still we're looking for that and two from. Uh, There's the from. Um, we'll start that turn. Outbound. Uh, vector 23. And that's uh, zero seven eight. Direct, uh, six back to five thousand. Uh, and if you could do, give me the frequency and the transponder again, please. Info box shot. When you said info box shot, the box frequency is one two eight point one. Swap three five point two, and also just verify the initial heading one seven five. Uh, initial heading 175, for Fox Foxtrot, move uh, the frequency for departures 128.1, and then clock 3512, 7-4 Foxtrot. Set 7-4 Foxtrot, read back, correct. And we're looking for 078 outbound, and we'll go ahead and start that clock. Public power, all right. Green November Alpha's ready. Clock. Uh, three, three, number alpha, long beach town, runway two, six, left, clear, take off with three, zero, zero, eight. River takeoff, left, three, November off. Port out to the Foxtrot, Port Oceanside, VOR heading zero, seven, zero, back to two, final post, course. Heading zero, seven, zero, up to Port Oceanside, Foxtrot. All right, we're coming up on 6,000 feet. Once we get a two indication, there's our two. We'll start the clock. Yeah, Alpha, Fox, uh, depart ocean side, heading zero seven zero seven. Uh, Roger. Ocean side zero seven zero. Thank you. Yeah, Alpha, Fox, uh, clear direct ocean side at this time, and then after ocean side, fly heading zero seven zero. Roger. Clear to ocean side, down heading zero seven zero. Seven seven zero. Fox, Fox. And I'm going up the Fox. Uh, just maintain five thousand. I'll show you in a descent. Yeah, Roger, back to find out. All right, we looks like we've got a yeah, wind from the north. We're going to overshoot the course. Not quite a minute yet. we got about 10 more seconds. Start that turn inbound. All right, needles coming in. Two five eight inbound. Baron three November Alpha, it's coming. Three November Alpha, second. Sure, Baron three November Alpha. Look at traffic now, about your nine o'clock at six miles northwest bound for Skyhawk at four thousand. Okay, so we are established now, inbound. I'm going to let him know. And took out departure, uh, number 24352 is established inbound. Three, five, two, understood. Uh, you're gonna uh, no, uh, we'd like to uh, depart uh, resume ONAM for 24352. Uh, that's what I meant, 352. Uh, once you hit the NEA, you can just proceed on course. Okay, we're gonna proceed on course uh, over 24352. Thank you. So, to make sure with him. Well, we are above the MEA. <laughs> Alright, 
And as you can see on our uh, low altitude chart, 278 outbound from Paradise is going to put us on Victor 186. There it is. Copy that. Two four go back. Airport off the box truck. You're gonna maintain three thousand six hundred. Ten minutes. You're gonna maintain three thousand six hundred. So don't put up fucking. Let's go ahead and start that turn now. Two four go back. That traffic now. About your ten o'clock and two and a half miles turning northbound out to the gates. Three thousand five hundred. Copy that. Two four go back. Down street of Alpha Alpha traffic, no back. They're going to keep you at three for the approach unless you want four. Okay, thanks for the traffic and 3,000 spine, 3 to my bro. Down street of Alpha, Roger. Gentlemen, ground, number 76745, Trout is ready for taxi. Yeah, our desired track is 281. 76 John, ground, safe position, and if you have the weather, please. We'll go ahead and bug that. Uh, the 74 Fox Trout has uh, Victor, uh, information Victor, and uh, at the uh, ACI Jet North. 76 74 Fox Trout, runway 20 left at Kilo, taxi via Alpha Hotel, Charlie Kilo. All right. Uh, the cruise uh, checklist, hotel, power Charlie set, engine instruments will recheck. Traffic, no factor, Let's go ahead and recheck Alpha, that. 134.9, have a good night. 280. Contact, uh, so and 280. And uh, the rest of the instruments are looking good. And we're right on course. Uh, let's see here. 2990, thanks, 352. All right, there we go, that's set, 2990. Okay, make sure mag compasses we've already checked. All right, so cruise checklist is complete. There's our airplane. All right. So, Carla, you call two four All right, let's go ahead and get the ATIS and the uh, and COM2. And let's get uh, some things going here. 132 decimal one. High end route aircraft have a different transmitter, so you may not hear the report. Roger that. Two four go back. Have a tree number now for 10 left, and he's zero three zero. Zero three zero three November. All right, we've got the ATIS in the standby. I don't think we're going to be able to get it this far out. But. Yep. I do the same thing in the real airplane. <laughs> when I go from COM1 to COM2, I end up disabling COM1, the mic. Huh. All right, so we're too far out to get the ATIS. Uh, we could probably brief the approach. Uh, so we're uh, heading to Whiteman. So the chart is current from 24 January 2020. It's a Jepson chart. ATIS 132.4, SoCal approach uh, for the Van Nuys 280 Burbank 050. It's going to be 120.4. Uh, for our direction of flight, it's going to be uh, 120.4. So that's probably what we'll have for us approach. Uh, let's see here. Whiteman Towers 135.0, grounds 125. Uh, the VOR is going to be 113.1, uh, which we could probably put in here, uh, which uh, we should have because we uh, at Tiffany is a switchover point anyway. Uh, and we're, we're going to be about 5.2 miles from Tiffany. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put that in there anyway, 
All right, we've got 113.1 in standby. Final porch course is 046. Uh, and the uh, VOR, uh, well, the final approach fix is the VOR at 3,200 feet. MDA is going to be 1760. And airport elevation is 1,003 feet. In the event of a misapproach, it will be a left turn to 3,900 direct via Van Nuys VOR. And then we're going to hold on the uh, 255 radial inbound to Kinog, 075 inbound. And uh, we'll hold 5.1 DME from from Van Nuys VOR. So Cal, departure for November 7674 Foxtrot. Yeah, that's 74 Foxtrot, affirmative. So Cal, November 774 Foxtrot. All right. All right, so we're about 2.4 miles from Tiffany. Uh, 774 Delta Foxtrot. Verify you're heading 2.1.0. Oh, right, going to 210 on 74 Delta Foxtrot. 4 Delta Foxtrot, you're at three miles from the maintain 3,000. So instead of maintain 3,000, it's all established on the localizer. Cleared ILS runway 24 approach. Maintain 3,000 until established on the localizer. Cleared ILS. Right, we're like 280. Alright, 280. I don't see any traffic ever with X plane, but uh, <laughs> so I do that. Uh, traffic, no traffic. Good answer, 3, November, oh, sorry, Aaron, 3, November Alpha, turn right heading 1. He's like, I don't see any traffic ever. One next plane. Zero, three, <laughs> November, Alpha. That's funny. 130. 130, November Alpha. Switched over to um, Van Nuys VOR. Not going to be able to get the Morse because I'm not going to hear it. We're just going to assume that we've identified it in the simulator. It always works. So. Coming up on Pyro. 
which is right here. There's Pyro. Confirming flight to the OR. Seven two four pickback sounds good. Thank you. Seven three three to Alpha. Connect Conway Tower. One two six one eight. Good night. Forty six eight. Switch to tower. Have a good day. Three November. Good night. Four three four point two. Cessna two four three five two. Good night. Evening tower. Uh, three November Alpha. ILS two zero right. Fair three three November Alpha. Conway Tower two zero right. Clear to land. So I got approach. Good evening, number two four three five two is level six thousand. Cessna two four three five two. So I approach. White man out there. Two nine nine three. Any uniform except the visual approach runway one two. Okay, and uh, we'd actually uh, like the if you are alpha approach uh, possible for two four three five two. Uh, it works with the VR alpha approach, uh, it's just two four three five two. One airport, eight six information center. Zero two zero zero zero. Wind one zero zero zero. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. That's the three five two. Uh, clear direct from Van Nuys. Right clear direct Van Nuys VR two four three five two. Departing runway one two three zero. Visual approach is We've got uh, 2995, 106. We have information, Victor. And Sargon Approach, uh, November 24352 has information, Victor for Whiteman. Alright, so we're heading direct Van Nuys. We're about 30 miles from Van Nuys. We're just pretty far out, so it was, the ATIS was readable, but um, still staticky. So. Uh, this is my IFR panel, um, and of course we do have our track IR for VFR stuff, which is kind of fun. Um, and since we don't have a safety pilot, we're looking out for traffic. Wink, wink. <laughs> no. Remember, boys and girls, if you're flying IFR in VFR weather, make sure that you have a safety pilot that is at least a private pilot and uh, with the appropriate category and class aircraft. But once again, you know, we're flying simulators, so it's really not a big deal. We're not going to really run into anybody, so. Desired track is 279er, which we have bugged. Let's go ahead and continue flying that. Alright, 
We're 26 miles from Van Nuys. And we've been airborne for about 25 minutes. Not too bad. We can go ahead and we've, we've already briefed the approach, but we'll just kind of skim through it again. Um, we're going to depart Van Nuys at or above 4,600 to Canog, which is 5.1 DME from Van Nuys. It's going to be a parallel entry, and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll turn inbound tower, three November, after crossing Canog. Fly uh, one minute. Let's cancel and I'll talk to you next time. So we'll fly zero four five. Our correction, we're paralleling it, so we're going to go outbound for a minute yeah, and then we're going to turn inbound. Thanks. Turn to the left, turning Thank inbound to Canog to reestablish ourselves on the final approach course. And then from Canog, uh, probably be descending to 3,900. After passing Canog, we descend to 3,200, which is the VOR, Van Nuys. And from 3,200, we can continue to descend to our MDA of 1,760. Uh, based upon our ground speed, uh, we're looking at about three minutes and 26 seconds from the final approach fix to the missed approach point, which is 4.0 DME from uh, Van Nuys. So three minutes, 26, which we'll set the timer for uh, because this is a non-precision approach. And once again, in the event of a miss, left-hand turn, 3900, direct Van Nuys, and we'll hold at uh, Knog again. And that's it. Pretty simple approach. Uh, yeah. You know, my right foot's getting a little tired holding right rudder. But the airplane wants to continue to skid if you don't, so it's like a right skid. Weird. I will check the mag compass of the DG. Much of straight level, unaccelerated. About a 275, and we're indicating the same. This one doesn't process too much. It is directional gyro. Alright, and let's go ahead and make sure engine instruments are good. Vacuum's good. We're still charging. Oil pressure temperatures are good. We're 20 miles from Van Nuys with 108 knot ground speed. God, these airplanes are slow. <laughs> Alright, so we're probably going to expect runway 1-2 because the winds are favoring that. We've got 4,120 feet, uh, and then uh, traffic pattern altitude is 2,000 feet. Our MDA is 1760. Uh, no, that'll uh, be fine for Cessna 352. Very good. All right, so hold in lieu of procedure turn. So we'll do another hold there. Cessna 74 Foxtrot, contact SoCal approach, 119.6. And uh, we're probably going to exit Bravo. We might stop, or maybe Charlie. And we'll just go to transient parking. And that's it. Okay, yeah, we're about to add dot to the right there. See, we got fixated on the airport diagram. We should have been flying the airport.
to be a four Papa Zulu, Burbank clearance to stay to Las Vegas Airport via two departure, jagged transition, then as filed, maintain 4,000, expect flight over two flight for zero, five minutes after departure, departure frequency 134.2, score 5201. They were about 15 miles out from Van Nuys. And you'll start seeing us coming up on the map here. Here's the moving map. Well, the um, our position on the chart, it's overlaid, which is kind of nice. All right, we're coming up on darts. About 12 miles from Van Nuys. to maintain 5,000, 24352. All right, so we'll go ahead and send to 5,000 feet. Pull some power back. November 4, Papa Zulu is at the southeast corner of the terminal, ready to attack the IFR with uniform. TBM 4, Papa Zulu, we're back to ground runway 1, 5. Uh, where will you be coming out of the ramp? All right, so let's go ahead and uh, descent checklist the ATIS we've already got. Altimeters already four set, 2995. Uh, approach, VOR, Alpha. Uh, we've got about 4,120 feet is our runway length. Fuel elevation is 1,003. Traffic pattern is 2,003. Um, so uh, MDA is 1,760. So it, uh, we will maintain that all until uh, about base to final, where we'll start the descent after that from 1,730 below traffic pattern altitude. Uh, let's see here. And the missed approach is already briefed. Rich in the mixture just a bit there. All right, there's 5,000. Go ahead and add power again. About 100 feet or 100 above. Alright, we're going to add power. Cross Van Nuys VR at about 5,000, cleared VOR Alpha approach and one advisor. We're inbound on the procedure turn, number 24352. 
All right, so at about 5,000, Van Nuys. And you can see where we're at here. We're heading towards Van Nuys. And he wants to advise when we're inbound. So we would, we, one circuit is probably going to be enough. Or just uh, the procedure turn inbound. We're not going to have to hold, really. We only have to lose about 1,100 feet. So we should be okay. Air speed's good, altimeter, vertical speed, vacuum, amps, oil pressure, temperatures, 280, and compass is still in agreement, or uh, DG's in agreement with compass. Now let's go ahead and get the tower in to stand by while we're sitting here fat, dumb, and happy. 135.0. Alright, we got the tower in. Whiteman Tower. Cross Van Nuys at about 5,000. Any report, the procedure turned inbound. So we'll time it for a minute outbound. And 5.1 DME from Van Nuys uh, will uh, identify KNOG. And it's actually already there. Uh, let's go ahead and procedure activate approach. We didn't activate it. Enter. View our alpha, and uh, it's it's activated. As I said you can see us here on the approach. Uh, not on the approach, but heading towards Van Nuys. We just busted 5,000 feet. <laughs> We always got. We all have something to work on. All right. Once we get the two from, I got VOR two set as well. Two Van Nuys, and we're gonna go two five five outbound. Actually, we could set this to two five five now. Five five outbound. All right. Okay, it looks like we just about crossed over it, or just about to cross over it. Can I guess five point one DME? So that's when we'll start the timer. There's the from. Let's go ahead and fly two five one outbound, or two five five rather. Okay, there's 255. And once we're 5.1 DME from Van Nuys. Got two for Quebec, turn left here at Delta 7. Delta parking, monitor, ground. Have a nice day. Turn left, Delta 7. Turn runway is 08. So thank you, good night, stay safe. We can actually just send a 4,600. Forgot to do that because it says 4,600 here. So let's go ahead and descend to 40. Woohoo! 
There's a wind shift there. It's like a, some wind shear. Alright, so 5.1. We'll fly for a minute. Turn inbound. And then we'll activate the approach. Or the approach is activated, rather. But, um... Uh, Switch to uh, VOR. VOR on VOR 1. Okay, there's 46. We don't want to go any lower than that. There's KNOG, and when we're 5.1 DME, we can go ahead and start that clock. Coming up on KNOG. There it is, 5.0, 5.1, and we can actually start descending now to 3,900. Start the clock. We're going minute outbound. Uh, we have four pumps to Zulu, so count four Zulu. And we're going to send it 30 to 3900 now. And uh, we're going outbound for a minute. Then inbound, 075. Alright, there's 4,100 above. We got about five more seconds. And let's go ahead and start that turn. Start that turn. Standard rate. Van Nuys identified. We don't want to go below 3,900 until passing KNOG. All right, and uh, yeah, it's definitely harder in the simulator, that's for sure. 079er, or 075, rather. And then once we pass KNOG, we can go back inbound. There's 075. So we're about uh, 5 degrees to the right, so we'll turn 5 degrees. And once we pass KNOG, we can go down to 3,200. All right, well, there's KNOG again. We can go ahead and descend below KNOG. Go down to 3200. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, we're inbound now, uh, uh, KNOG uh, 24352. Got about that. 25.0. 25.0 and we're 24352. 
075 already got set, and we're coming up on 3200. Flaps 20 for ATP. Whiteman Tower, good evening, number 24352, VOR Alpha Approach. 24352, Whiteman Tower, circle south, please, of the field, runway 12, clear to land. All right, we'll circle south on a 12, clear to land, 24352. And uh, let's see, uh, southwest of the field, you know what? Southwest of the field, 24352. Want to go below 3,200? All right, MDA is 1760. Go ahead and turn back to 075, and then once we pass uh, the VOR, then it's 046. Maintain 75 knots. ABF 4 Papa Zulu, Los Angeles Center, climb and maintain flight level 256. And we'll start that timer. The 70 knots is 3 minutes 26 seconds. Alright. Yeah, the airplane's very, very touchy. Alright, we're at flaps 20. Alright, uh, approach. Oh, we're on the wrong checklist. We're landing fuel selectors on both. It is. Uh, mixture is going to go forward. Let's go do that now. And landing lights already on. That's okay. We're a little bit above 3,200, but not by much. It's better than being below it. All right, we're going to have to twist to 046 here. One more tower, November 76, and four Foxtrot is uh, on the ILS 424. All right, we're already starting that turn now. Looking for that two from, and we'll start that clock. There it is. All right. That's a 26. Gonna start that descent now. So about 1956 is uh, should be our time. This airplane about 1500 RPM should do it too. It's pretty accurate to the real airplane. Um, yeah. So 1760 is our MDA. I don't know why we're descending so fast. Let's trim the airplane here. That might help. on the CDI here. We screwed up. There we go. All right, we have 300 to go. We would probably go around at this point or execute a missed approach with a full deflection on the CDI, but... All right, we're coming up on, we're 100 above. Ground, 
Minimums. There's the airport in sight. And he wants me to circle to the south from the southwest. And that was about. Well, we descended a little bit quick, but yeah, there it is anyway. Uh, runway, or the airport's in sight. We're just like way. Uh, got a full deflection on the CDI. I think I can see the uh, airport. Well, we got some work to do, don't we? We don't want to go below 1760. The runway should be right there, runway 1, 2. Whoop, went right outside the airplane. Um, and we are below traffic pattern altitude, so uh, once we're base to final, we'll continue the descent. We're going to hold this altitude right now. And we're about a beam there. Let's go ahead and turn. Well, that was a horrible approach. But, you know, it's a learning experience. Yeah, there's the runway end identifier lights there. Seventy knots is good. And we'll go flaps thirty. And we got three whites, one red. about 65 knots. And uh, Whiteman Tower, are we clear to land for 24352? Just realized. Oh, 352, clear to land. I went to clear to land, 24352, thanks. It's like, did he clear us to land? There we go. Always good to double check, and I always have a habit of forgetting. Good day, support Alpha Foxtrot, uh, John, we dial you up. Oh, yeah, we're up to just uh, adjust on the uh, autopilot here, if I could get a, a minute here. Good day, support Alpha Foxtrot, no worries, just for the future. Uh, please squawk normal one on the taxiways. We use airport surveillance radar here. Well, oh, uh, what's so the best on landing? On the taxiway no. and then head over to the, um, the 5614 went on the runway. No, negative. No, no not, not very, far, very far, touchy. <laughs> Do your Airplane's on very, control. very touchy. Normal, so Much easier to fly the real one, that's for sure. But oh, I got you, so it's this is great for training. Uh, All right, so this is uh, okay, Alpha. We're clear at Charlie. And uh, Whiteman Tower, number 24352, is clear of runway 12 at uh, Charlie. We're just going to taxi straight ahead to transient parking. 2352, Roger. You can proceed as requested and have a wonderful day. All right, we'll proceed as requested. Thanks for your help, uh, 24352. All right, uh, let's see here. Let's do the after landing. Trim is going to go centered. Yes, i got to trim the airplane for a more stabilized approach. And I was like full deflection on the CDI, so that would have been definitely would have been a missed approach. But that's good, because you know, there's always things that we can improve upon, right? 
set the RPM at, set the RPM to a thousand. Flaps wrap strobes. Uh, we'll, we'll just turn those off for now because it's night time. We don't want to be blinding people. Flaps are up. Uh, John Wayne. And we have the taxi and the landing lights on. Mixture's already leaned, and we already got our taxi clearance. Well, I hope you enjoyed that flight and uh, found it somewhat informative and somewhat useful. Um, a good pilot is always learning. Fly safe, have fun, and we'll see you next time.